Hi, uh, Brian from Priestly Demolition. Uh, just want to walk you through the process of demolishing and failing this bridge. First thing we do is put on a uh, layer of sand to uh, make a cushion on the road to protect it from any large pieces falling. And then we use a combination of large hammers and shears on the excavator. The hammer breaks the concrete away from the steel, loosens up the structure, then the shear pulls the steel out and uh, cleans the path for the hammer to go to the next structural member. We break the members out one at a time and work from the center towards the back, outsides, just so that the, the bridge never fails in a large catastrophic failure. It's just incremental failures until we get to the far end. And once we get the full span wide open, then we'll turn and we'll face the abutments. We'll fail them and uh, process the material. The steel will be pulled out and recycled, and then the aggregate or the uh, concrete will get crushed and uh, turned back into aggregate. So do you, do you worry that there's any kind of issue with the traffic on the other side of the expressway? No, no. Our uh, our demolition is very localized to the to the area that it, it's all about impact. We impact it with the hammer and. Uh, separate the concrete from the rebar. So can you talk about some of the machines? Like, are they, are they bigger than usual excavators? Are they specifically for this? Well, they're 50-ton excavators, and they're uh, they're set up for specifically for demolition. They've been plumbed to take this type of attachment. The uh, You see the hammers, they, those are very quick to put on. You can use a bucket, a clam, or a hammer, which are all the typical tools in demolition. The shear is actually assembled Onto the uh, onto the boom of the machine, and then it stays on. It's a little bit more complicated to install it, but we'll put it on for a long duration. So it'll do the demolition, and then it'll also help with the processing of the material to make it undersized, so it can uh, fit the trailers better and get better capacity, less loads at the end of the day. So the amount of equipment that you use is determined by the size of the structure and the length of time that you need to demolish it? Absolutely. You see this one, we just don't have enough real estate to bring more equipment. So we've got four machines here and they'll cycle in and out. When we get all the concrete down, the hammers will pull away and the other shear will come in. Okay, so the, the Highway 3 bridge, because you had more room, you could bring in more room. Absolutely. Sometimes we've been up to 10 50-ton excavators or larger. These are all 50-ton jobs, which are a very decent size. Yeah. They're very big, but not too big that you can still get three of them in there. What's your favorite part of demolition? Well, that's a good question. There's a lot to do. I, 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 I really enjoy bridges. I really enjoy high-rise demolition. It's, uh, it's all a mixed bag. And, it's always fun, it's always interesting, there's always a new challenge or a new twist. Doesn't matter what type of construction it is, where it's located will define the way you, you know, what techniques you use to demolish. Um, anything else you want to talk about? Anything you want the public to know about the demolition? Well, it's uh, considered a very high risk uh, sort of work, but it's become so engineered and so uh, sophisticated now, the way the uh, equipment has been customized to do the work, it, uh, it makes it very predictable and, and very safe. Okay. Thanks. Thank you.